Hi, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this lesson, I am going to show you how you can do a sound analysis into a MATLAB. And basically, I will be using here a live script to do analysis. And first, I will be loading audio file and then I will be plotting a time domain signal. And then finally, I will be doing some stats analysis just like me in max and standard deviations values. And apart from that, then I will be showing you the spectrogram of a signal and then finally the periodogram of these signals and then I'll be zooming in here so that you can see what is the frequency content present for that particular concentrated region. And apart from that, I'll be doing a histogram of this audio signal. So in meantime, I'll be also describing you how you can uh, understand these uh, plots and how you can actually uh, utilize these plots while doing the analysis of your audio file that means what are the meaning of these plots and uh, then how you can utilize this and apart from that if you have not watched my previous videos on MATLAB you can go ahead at my channel KGP Talkie there I have a lot of the videos already uh, on the MATLAB for the beginners so I had started this MATLAB from the getting started and there are almost more than uh, uh, the 40 videos 42 videos present on the MATLAB and these videos you can watch there and uh, you can also suggest me if you want any other videos on the MATLAB. So without wasting time let's go ahead and start this brand new lesson. Alright so in this lesson I'm gonna use MATLAB 2018A version and I would also recommend you to use MATLAB 2018 or later versions. Because in this lesson, I'm going to use a live script and this is the latest feature of a MATLAB where I can code side by side and also I can see a result inside. But before that, let's get familiar with the MATLAB environment. So this is the menu bar where uh, I'll be creating a new live script from here. And then this is a current folder where our current files will be situated here. And the summary of these files will be uh, shown here in this um, area. And apart from that, the variable values will be shown in this work space. So in this lesson, we will be analyzing an audio file. We will be analyzing spectrum, periodograms, and we will be plotting it as well. So let's go ahead and start with new live script. So now you see here. You might have been working in a command window where you have been typing a code and uh, you might have been getting a lot of the error because of the misspelling. But this live editor or, the, or live script brings the feature of auto completion code. So there you do not need to remember exactly all the variable names, but it will automatically suggest you the variable names or MATLAB functions to use. So basically this uh, uh, the MATLAB have been trying to provide you an environment of kind of dynamic uh, uh, the suggestion, uh, the code suggestion. Alright, so apart from that, if you uh, you see, this is actually the code block and, and this area is a kind of the output area where the output will be shown. And apart from that, this code block can be converted into a text block by entering alt and enter. So if you press here alt and the enter, uh, this is converted into a text area. So let's say if we write here uh, uh, the sound analysis, you can just write here a sound analysis lecture. Okay, you can select this and then you can do the formatting and all other things okay are you heading all right so if you press the enter then it will um, uh, just create a new line in this text area but we need to convert it again into a code area and to do that we need to press alt and enter so once you press alt and enter that text area will be converted into a code area all right so we have sound analysis lecture now let's go ahead and save this file Unless and until you write something in this live script, you would not be able to store or save this file. Alright, so press Ctrl and the S to save this live script. And we are going to save this with the name and 
a name I am going to put here a sound and underscore analysis because MATLAB uh, throws error if you put a space between file names. All right, so it's a sound analysis lesson and we have got this uh, setup is done. Now let's go ahead and listen this piano.wave file. You can right click here and open it outside into a MATLAB. So open outside in MATLAB, it will be open into a VLC or any media player. And if you listen it, it's a kind of piano there, three seconds of the piano sound. So we will be analyzing this sound by plotting its, uh, it, its a time domain, uh, uh, the plot and frequency domain plot, periodogram, spectrogram, all those things. All right, so let's go ahead and start a step by step coding. We need to first read this audio file piano.web. We can read that by calling audio read. Okay, so you just write here audio read and you might see, you might notice here a difference between your, uh, you know, the old style of code writing into a MATLAB and this one. In old writing of the MATLAB code, you always need to remember the exact exact function name or a method name but in this um, uh, in this live script MATLAB suggests you once you start writing something so it has audio read audio recorder and audio reverb uh, uh, beret and other things so let's go ahead and start with audio read you can either press their enter or tab to auto complete this and there inside this you see it suggests the file name range and the data type so here we have two file piano and the sound analysis of course we need to read this one so just click the click on this piano.wave otherwise you can just click on downward button and then select you piano.wave press the enter so it will automatically complete now to run this specific code cell you need to press control and the enter so if you press the control and the enter this cell will run and once this cell runs this returns here a result and the result is kind of uh, uh, the stereotype audio which have a two channel the first channel and the second channel and the result is stored into the ans answer that is a default variable into a matlab all right but we need to store this data into a particular variable let's say x that is the input i mean audio data and the fs sampling data that we can um, get by uh, uh, storing its return parameter inside variable x and fs so now if we press here control and the enter it will run this particular code cell but we actually want to run this code cell and and uh, and uh, create a new block and to do that you need to press control alt and the enter then it will run this block and then it will create a new new code block and uh, 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 sorry you need to actually press here uh, the control and the enter to run this block and then you can press control and the alt to 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 go ahead into the another um, um, another block all right otherwise you can just press here control shift and the enter then it will execute and uh, advance into a next code block now you see the variable uh, uh, the data is stored into variable x and the fs a variable x is a two dimensional array it has a two column and more than more than 132,000 uh, rows and that is actually the audio file and the fs default sampling rate is 44.1 kilohertz for this audio file now let's go ahead and get the first channel of this audio file that's mean just a monotype of audio okay the mono audio and to do that i can just write here x is equal to x and then select all rows comma of a first column so with this it will select all the it will select all the column uh, sorry all the rows with the one column and now if you run if you press here the control shift and enter it will run this uh, run this cell and here it will show the result 
now you should notice here that if we press here if we if, if we put here a semicolon then it does not give a, a output here because we don't we are not interested in this raw value so we are going to just put here a semicolon so press here control and the shift and the enter it will just execute and it will now not print uh, this raw values of uh, x all right now let's go ahead and get this length variable audio length into n that we can get with n is equal to length okay so that you can actually put here uh, the tab length of x so with this we will get n value and press uh, put here a semicolon with this you can see a, uh, a variable value is um, 132,300 uh, so this is the total number of data samples present in this audio uh, in this variable x now let's go ahead and convert this into a time sample so for a time sample that is t is equal to 0 to n minus 1 okay because we are starting from the 0 that is why we are putting here n minus 1 and then divided by fs so that is actually the uh, the t so that is with this t we can identify that what is the audio size okay so with this t you see uh, uh, there are uh, 132,300 uh, the time steps and the last value shows that what is the uh, uh, what is the total size of audio file that you can actually get with n divided by fs and if you put that you see here that is the 3 that's when this audio file is a 3 second long audio file all right so let's go ahead and run this cell again with the control and the shift advance into um, uh, uh, advance into another cell uh, with the control and the ultra actually let's go ahead and create few more cell for a simplicity control and s save this file all right now we have our uh, now we have our audio file and its data is stored into variable x and variable t as well as variable n now let's go ahead and plot this signal waveform plot time domain signal okay all right so for plotting a time domain signal we need to just write here plot x and if you see here just run, uh, uh, um, uh, now run this cell once you run this cell you will see here a time domain signal but now you see x axis is given into a time step and if you want this x axis uh, in a time domain then you need to provide here a t value as well now if you run this cell you will see here this x axis is provided into a time domain and the total signal length is a 3 second now after this what we need to do we can uh, uh, we can put here a grid now you see there is no grid there with the grid on okay you can put grid on now you see the grid is on and apart from that we can uh, 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 we can set the x level and the y level as well as the title for this plot so let's go ahead and set the x level for this plot that we can set with the x level and there we have a time that is inside this in, into a second and then similarly we have here y level and y level is amplitude okay and then we can also uh, uh, see the title and the title for this signal is uh, uh, signal in time domain okay signal in time domain now let's go ahead and plot this now you see here this signal is in time domain and here it's amplitude and the x-axis is represented into a time that is in second now let's say if you want to change the font size and the font type of this plot then how would you do that and to do that just after this grid on you need to write here sit set and then gca okay that is the current axis chart 
okay so that is the current axis chart and then you need to here write a font name the font name which i'm gonna use at times new roman okay all right and a font size which i'm gonna use here that i'm going to put 16 font size let's go ahead and run this cell now now you see here we have a new plot is plotted with the font size of 16 that looks a little high we can just set it 12 that should work yes with the 12 now it is looking good all right so this is a time domain analysis of this signal now let's go ahead and display maximum and the minimum values of this signal that we can do um, here uh, stats information okay so what are the stats information for a stats information we can get with max value okay so that let, let's say the max sorry uh, with the max uh, here we have a max value a max value is equal to just max of x and similarly we have here a minimum value that is just mean of x all right and similarly there are so many other things like mean which we can get uh, uh, the mean value is equal to just write here mean of x and similarly we can say here std value okay that we can get with the std of x and just run this cell you will see here these values are here max value in this uh, in this plot is are in this variable x is 0 0.1483 and the mean value is around 0 and minimum value is uh, minus 0 0.1808 all right now let's go ahead and um, and and plot its spectrogram okay so to plot this spectrogram we need to uh, uh, call a spectrogram function which we can just call by calling a spectrogram usually just write their spec and the MATLAB will suggest you there we have a spectrogram and this spectrogram takes the input of x that is the input and then the window size for which we want to do the spectral analysis let's say go let's say we are going to take 1024 samples for a spectrum analysis and then it says that how much overlap we want let's say uh, we want overlap of 512 samples and then apart from that it asks about the number of the FFT NFFT let's say we are going to do 1024 number of NFFT that's mean uh, uh, the FFT points 1024 and apart from that then it asks about the FS okay so FS is sampling rate let's go ahead and run this cell and once you run this cell it might take a little time but after that it will show you a spectrogram in this spectrogram you see here it has here a frequency content and here it's a time content all right but you see here it's um, the axis is kind of uh, uh, the axis is kind of um, uh, the inverted and to do that what we can do we can just write here y axis so just write here y axis and now you see the y axis is frequency that is in kilohertz and here x axis is time so this is a 3 second signal and this is a color bar and higher this blue value shows that uh, higher power present for a particular frequency so it says that for a lower frequency it's around uh, uh, 1 kilohertz to 2 kilohertz there is higher frequency content presents in the signal okay since it's a sampling rate its sampling rate is 44.1 kilohertz that's why the frequency range it is saying uh, it is showing around 22 kilohertz total okay so this is overall um, um, uh, the spectral analysis of this signal all right now let's go ahead now let's go ahead and uh, 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 and give the x axis uh, it, it's the title name 
and to do that what we can do we can just write here a title so just write here a title and this is a spectrogram of signal okay all right so this is a spectrogram perfect now let's go ahead and now i'm going to um, um, i'm going to do uh, some other uh, uh, the spectral analysis like a periodogram so in a periodogram i will be showing you a power content for a particular frequency how much power content is present in a signal for a particular frequency so that we can do with this periodogram okay all right so for a periodogram plot what we need to do we need to first get a window handing window which we are going to do I mean a signal, uh, a window which, uh, which which we will be applying to a signal for a periodogram. So that is handing window W is equal to uh, uh, the handing. All right. So this handing window takes how many samples are there? So there are total n samples, and then it asks about what type of the handing window we want. We want periodic handing window. Let's say. Okay. Now we have a window W and let's say uh, let's go ahead and write here a periodogram so here periodogram returns two value but before that it takes few values like x that is the input and then takes a window which we are going to apply on this x that is handing window total number of samples and then the frequency uh, sampling rate and then uh, the x-axis value for which we are going to plot this periodogram now, if we run this cell, um, uh, we need to put here a semicolon so that we can avoid this W plot. Now, once we run this cell, we should see something like this. So, it says that there is a power and there is a frequency content. So, most of the power present in a frequency content of around 1 or 2 kilohertz in this signal. Alright, and the other power uh, and uh, and after around 3 kilohertz there is no power or almost negligible power present into an audio signal so this is how you can actually analyze audio signals what is the frequency content present in the audio signal what is the power content presents in the audio signals and you can also see this spectrogram of an audio signal now let's let's go ahead and see this into a logarithmic scale and to do that what we can do here, we can just take these uh, periodogram out uh, return values inside the x, okay, periodogram, and then here f that is the frequency. All right. Now after this, we are going to create a capital X with twenty log ten. That is the logarithmic scale for log ten, a uh, log ten, uh, and uh, then we have here sqrt the square root of x and then multiply it by the square root of 2 okay so that is sqrt sqrt 2 all right perfect so with this we have got here x okay so this is the x actually on the logarithmic scale but uh, we we do not want that x so let's go ahead and uh, actually we want that x and to do that what we can do we can just copy this and put it here and just plot it two times okay so you see here a periodogram and the x value as well and just put a semicolon here so that it should not return anything all right now let's go ahead and do this uh, 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 the spectrum analysis based on this periodogram x value and to do that we can just write here a semi log okay uh, sorry a semi log x semi logarithmic scale semi log x f and the capital x which is written and then the color we can provide but we are not going to provide color here now once you run this you see here 
So this is kind of semi logarithmic scale value, okay, presented here. And this says that how much frequency content is present for a particular uh, uh, for a particular uh, uh, the frequency. So you see here now what we have done we have actually zoomed in this particular region and if we zoom this particular region now you can see the clearly the frequency content present in this file is somewhere in between 100 hertz to 1 kilohertz or you can say around uh, around here okay are the 2 kilohertz so these are the mostly the frequency contents presents okay in this range okay all right now what we are going to do we are going to just plot a histogram for this signal so let's go ahead and plot a histogram plot histogram so for a histogram we need to just write here a histogram then it will just suggest you um, uh, the function complete function and type here x so with this you will see here a histogram let's go ahead and write, uh, put the title here All right, so this is the hist of this audio signal. Now you see the most of the content of this audio signal is uh, 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 concentrated around the zero value. That you can say that this signal is uh, the signal is a uh, uh, kind of the normalized signal. Okay, the Gaussian normalized signal, and um, this is actually the perfect signal for the analysis. All right, so this is all about in this lesson. Thank you so much for watching it and please do not forget to like and the subscribe this channel. And if you have any uh, doubts, you can comment below. And if you want me to make any video on some other topics, you can also comment below and suggest me the topic. I would definitely try to make those video. Thank you. Bye-bye.